Space Hacks was a British radio sitcom produced by the BBC, first aired in February 2007. It is the first direct commission by BBC Seven, a UK digital radio station. Two series of four episodes each were produced. All episodes were exclusively broadcast on BBC Seven. The series follows the adventures of journalists Charlie Palmer and Moog Johnson, who report on Earth events for pan galactic news agency Intergalactic News. They are based aboard the IGN Indolent, which sits on Clapham Common disguised as a hedge. The third principal character is Mother, played by Prunella Scales, the ship's maternal and senile onboard computer. Describing her in episode 1, Charlie explains that When they uploaded her baking software they sort of overwrote everything else. Although an exemplary cook, Mother struggles with certain activities such as remembering to tell Charlie and Moog when pirates are approaching, or landing the ship. Lizard-like alien Korg is the IGN's news editor, and appears to be permanently enraged, especially with Charlie. There is a running joke throughout the series that he always threatens to rip off parts of Charlie and Moog's anatomy and beat them with it. I shall flail you with your own spines, is an example. Topic: Episodes. Topic: Series one. Episode 1, Lost in Space Ship, first broadcast 10 February 2007 Episode 2, Two Men and a Baby Alien, first broadcast 17 February 2007 Episode 3, The Last Postman, first broadcast 24 February 2007 Episode 4, Mutiny on the Space Ship First broadcast the 3rd of March 2007. Topic Series 2. Episode 5. Men in Brown. First broadcast the 1st of March 2008. Episode 6. The Quite Good Escape. First broadcast aired the 8th of March 2008. Episode 7. Empire in the Sun. First broadcast the 15th of March 2008. Episode 8. Back to the Present. First broadcast the 22nd of March 2008. Space Hacks is written by Stuart Sumner and Ian Simons and is produced by Victoria Lloyd. Topic: <laughs> Press. The series received some press attention, with positive reviews. While the Radio Times compared the show favorably to other notable radio sitcoms, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and Red Dwarf, it was also criticized for its resemblance to those same shows and for its decision to use a continuous background drone noise track that affected people of limited hearing. 